All right, 2006 BMW 750i transmission is a ZF6 HP26. This also has an E-shift valve body. All right, I got some codes, uh, 507C and 507B that has to do with the park lock solenoid. And I have a 4F84 ratio error clutch D and 4F81 ratio error clutch A. All right, so I get in the car, start it up, put the car in drive, jumps back to park, put the car into reverse, jumps back to park. So I know that we're dealing with low pressure in the transmission and that is due to a broken bridge seal in between the valve body and the pump. Because remember with these uh, E-shift valve bodies and you have the park lock solenoid, you have the MV2 solenoid, okay, those need the pressure to work in order to get this car out of park. <clears throat> okay, so I have the car, I had to wait for the car to cool down because I couldn't even drive it. Once the car cooled down, it sat for a couple hours, I was able to bring it around, get it inside, and I have it up in the air with the pan down. So what we're gonna do is go over to the car, I'll set up the camera, we're gonna drop out the valve body and confirm that we're dealing with a broken bridge seal. All right, if that's the case, I'm gonna get a new bridge seal, I'm gonna get a new uh, connector, I actually have the connector out already also. Um, the connector came right out and has, um, I don't know, I guess maybe it's the earlier style or the earlier seals that has the orange seals. Those tend to leak a lot. But it was a little tight up there, so I did that now. Dropped the pan, had the guy, uh, tech, drop the pan. And I took the uh, wire harness out and I pulled the tab down and I took the connector out. So all we really got to do is just take the bolts out actually have most of the bolts out already because I wanted everything to drain as much as I can. I got two bolts holding the valve body in, but I did not take it down yet. All right, so I'm going to head over to the car, set up the camera, and we're going to drop that out and verify that that seal was broken. And if it is, I'll get another one, and then we'll go back up with the valve body. All right, so I'm going to set up over by the car, and I'll be right back. All right, one thing I wanted to show you guys before we drop this valve body out. This is the park release cable. All right, and here is, uh, I call a little J bracket, and this is attached to the transmission. This actually will take the transmission out of park. And you see there's a little space here in between the end of the cable and this bracket, maybe, I don't know, about two millimeters or so, or whatever the, whatever the clearance is here. This is adjusted correctly. You don't want this end of the cable right up against this bracket. All right, that's misadjusted and it can make those 507 codes show up like we're getting now. All right, and if you do have to adjust that, you adjust it right through here. All right, there's a slide here. And then you want just about that amount of clearance right there. That is perfect. So that I'm not even gonna touch because that is adjusted correctly. All right, so now let me reposition. We're gonna drop this valve body out and we're going to see if this bridge seal is in fact broken. All right, so let me reposition and I will be back with you in a few minutes. All right, so we're gonna drop the valve body out. I got two bolts actually holding the valve body in just to save a little time. So I got one here, one here, and all the rest um, are out, you know, the short ones here. And so we're going to just take the two bolts out, drop this thing down, see what's going on with it. up here okay Ugh. all right now buddy is down I just need a place to put it now let me put it in the pan okay all right one second now let's pull that seal down so I want to make sure that's steady we don't want that to fall pull this down and this bridge seal 100% is broken there we go right here 100% that that is our problem which I kind of figured but all right so it was up here so what's going on is uh, definitely low pressure in the transmission from this seal breaking 
So pretty much all we're gonna do with this thing is um, put the new bridge seal in, and we're gonna put a new connector sleeve in, because uh, that is the old style with these with these uh, orange O-rings. These tend to leak, so I have another one uh, has black O-rings on it. And we're gonna put this back together, refill it with oil. What they claim they did about three days ago is do a service. They put a new pan and new fluid and figured maybe that would help, but that did not help, so that's when they had called me. And that's it. So we're gonna get the new seal, put it up, hang the valve body, and put this back together. So here is that, you know, park lock right here. All right, so let me get the seal, and actually tomorrow morning we'll uh, we'll hang this valve body back up and uh, and go from there. All righty, so I shall return. All right, so when you're reinstalling the valve body, this is the arm, this is the rotating lever, and this is the arm that you want to install into the piston rod. Uh, so when the solenoids get energized, uh, part will be released. This one right here. All right, so I just wanted to show you that as well. Now we're gonna reinstall the valve body. Okay, so we're going to install our new bridge seal. All right, that's a nice fit right there. All right, now we're gonna hang this valve body up. Okay. Let's just grab this light here and make sure it's good. Okay. All right, that looks good. There we go. That is in, all the way up. Everything looks good. I got a nice space again in here. On my little uh, bracket here for the park release cable. and smooth.
get my torque wrench. Tighten these down. I gotta get the new sleeve. I actually um, I'm waiting for that. Alright, give me one second, let me get set up and torque this valve body down. Alright, so I'm gonna torque these down about 85 inch pounds. So that was our problem 100%. All right, so I just got left to put the uh, new sleeve in, <clears throat> hook the wires back up, and I'm going to have the guys put the pan back up. And they clean them again. They just changed the pan into fluid, so I'm just going to put all that back. All right, so 2006 uh, BMW 5 Series. Uh, we had the typical uh, 507 codes for the park lock. Also some gear ratio codes, clutch A and uh, clutch D. So we confirmed the transmission had very low pressure due to the broken bridge seal and that was confirmed actually because when I would put this into drive, especially when it got hot, it would jump back to park, reverse jump back to park. When the car was cold, I was able to actually drive the car around uh, to the back of the shop to pull it in in our back section here. This is actually our truck section and I'm working on it because it's the only lift I have. And it drove around fine, no problem. Uh, but more when it gets hot is when you're, gonna, when you're gonna have the issue. When they first drove it to me the other day from uh, the repair shop, maybe about two or three miles away, I couldn't get this car to stay in drive or to stay in reverse. It would jump immediately right back to park. But again, cold uh, seems to be okay until it heats up and then that's it. Uh, you'll get the oil thins out and you'll get very low pressure. All right, so that is about it for this one. I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you next one.